Stephanie, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So Stephanie, your freshman year, you have three wins all season long. Your sophomore year, four wins, and now you tripled that. You're up to 12 wins this season, and you guys make the playoffs. How does it feel to be part of a winning program? It feels really good. Our confidence has gone up a lot. We feel better as a community, and it just feels great to have a couple of wins on our shoulders now. And what do you think has been the main difference from your freshman year to now your junior year? Um, well, we had a change in coach, like a change in culture, change in staff, a change in everything. So I think that made a really huge difference. And then a team, our team got better as a whole. We started talking more, we came closer, a bond is there now. Not as it was in as freshman year. So you mentioned new coach. So what is the coach, Fernandez, what has he meant to you guys? This a lot. Year? He's done a lot for us. The little things too, like being there for us. And he's just helped us a, a lot, like getting here extra early for us, doing whatever we ask. He's been really good to us. So what can you tell the Harlandale community to come and join you guys for y'all's playoff games? Uh, come out and support and we'll bring home that win for you. Hello Harlandale family, we're here at McCullum High School with second year head coach Rudy Fernandez of the girls basketball team. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So coach, a few years back, the team had three wins all year, all year long. Last year, you guys had four wins. This year, you guys tripled that. You're at 12 wins this year and you're playoff bound. How does it feel to build the program back up? Uh, it feels amazing. Uh, I give credit to the girls. They work hard. Their work ethic is amazing. They're, they're a good group to be around. And uh, it's just been fun this year. I mean, of course, winning does help. But, uh, you know, just getting to know them, going to tournaments, having a little bit, uh, have a, having a little bit better bond with them this year. Uh, we had some good times, and it's been fun. And, you know, the vibe and the culture has been a lot more positive this year. And then talking about changing that mindset, you know, some of these girls are not used to winning. Uh, so how were you able to instill that in them to believe in themselves? Well, last year, this is my, it was my first time having them in the off season and we worked on some new things. We kind of instilled our philosophy defensively and offensively. And then it carried over. The girls had a great summer, a good fall league, and they were making strides and it just carried over to the season. And, and I think over time, their confidence uh, boosted up. So now when the confidence boosted up, then they knew that they're going to come into the season and have some more success. Us. You have a good number of seniors on the team, but you know, two of your main players, especially in the offensive end, Stephanie and Eleni, you know, what have they meant to this program? Um, I can't say enough about them too. I mean, they work hard. I mean, they're the backbone of the team. I mean, they're, they're the girls that are gonna make us or break us. They, they score a lot of points. Eleni's more uh, of the girl that's gonna get a lot of steals and hit threes and Stephanie's kind of the opposite. She'll be the one that gets more of the rebounds and, and layups. So it's kind of a dynamic duo and they're opposites, but they're similar at the same time. And they work well together. They have a good chemistry and luckily they're juniors. So we got them for one more year. And how's it feeling for you? You know, second year in the program, got in the playoffs. You know, that's a big accomplish accomplishment for you. Big accomplishment here at McCullum High School. You know, what's that feeling for you, especially being around these girls for at least two years now? Oh, it feels good. I mean, like I told the girls when we first started this journey is that, you know, I, I want them to experience success and, and enjoy it. And I mean, I tell these girls all the time, you only get four years in high school, you got to make the best of it. And, you know, you got to be able to have these memories when you move on with life. And I'm just glad that they could experience some success now and hopefully it carries on to their adult life.